So working with the dumbbell is a lot of fun. I really like this exercise and I have different parts of the exercise that I want to um, train separately and then combine it in the end. But one of the, of course, really important parts of the exercise is the holding. And often I get a lot of conflicts with my dogs when it comes to food and the dumbbell. So I, most of the time, depending on the dog, of course, I will choose to start it up with a toy. And come on, Dusen, come. The first thing the dog needs to be able to do is to look at the ball, get it, and take it on a command, uh, on a release command. And then, I, I really love this exercise. It makes uh, what is sometimes a really complicated exercise, it makes it super simple. Now the next thing I do is I introduce it. I keep the line from the dog to the ball and I introduce the dumbbell. Get it! And the minute the dog uh, grabs the dumbbell, I release it to the ball. What this does for me is that it takes the focus off of the dumbbell, off of the dumbbell, and uh, the dog th is not thinking about like chewing, holding, how should I do? Uh, it keeps the focus on the ball. Pushed, bravo, pushed. But that's also why I'm keeping the line store. Hold. I can do a little bit of pulling in the dumbbell. Get it! And I don't really care what happens to the dumbbell. Once I've given the release command, she can go straight for the ball. I usually uh, train this and the starting up with the dumbbell. I train with a really soft dumbbell because I don't want it to hit the dog in the front paws or the front legs when it releases. This is like a really soft foam thing from Collision Course in Poland. I really like this one, but there are lots of different uh, different sorts. Pushed. Come. Once the dog has got the hang of that, I can put it to the side. Get it! And to help it in the beginning, I keep my hand on the dumbbell and I pull just gently away from the dog, so it's forced to really uh, keep its mouth uh, shut. Bravo! It depends on the dog where it's good to uh, to have the ball come place so it could be above the dog but for some dogs it's also easier to start here get it i really don't care as long as the dog is holding and as long as the dog thinks this is a really fun exercise another part of the dumbbell training is pushed pushed uh, the fast picking up and for this, I normally use a toy that's a little bit longer, so I can keep it on the ground like this. <laughs> she really, she really wants the dumbbell. Um, so I tend to choose the longer one, but which one is uh, suitable depends totally on the dog. So I will go like really, really short distances. I'll say, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Yes! And the minute she uh, grabs the dumbbell, I release her to come back. So she sort of goes for a pickup, turns around and comes back. And I would like for the pickup for my dog to be a little bit low. Um, if the dog is very high and jumpy, they tend to do like the hunting jump in the end on the dumbbell and that's uh, not so good if you want to get high points um, and I like my dog to pick up the easiest way so I don't mind if they come from the front or, or behind the dumbbell as long as they pick it up as fast as possible. Push. Let's do one more. So get them a little bit excited. Yes! Get it! And for me in the beginning it's totally fine that she just drops it. I don't want her to come back with it. I just want her to know that Going really fast for the picking up itself is what gives her the toy. Dick, bravo!